Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 20, Introduction to Liquid. Liquid is a server-side templating language that allows a developer to use common programming concepts like if statements and loops to create the HTML, JavaScript, and CSS that a portal user sees. Liquid was originally developed by Shopify, which is a Canadian-based company that has built one of the most popular e-commerce platforms. They created it to allow their customers to customize the look and feel of their online store. Originally released in 2006 and written in Ruby, it has since been ported to other languages, including .NET, and has been leveraged in many different implementations, including Adobe Business Catalyst and Jekyll. Liquid support in portals was introduced in version 7.0.7, .7, and the portal specific feature set has been increasing ever since. Liquid is a server side language, which means that an end user should never see Liquid code. They will only see the output generated by Liquid. This is in contrast to JavaScript, which is a client side language where users can see the full source code. Liquid can be used in a number of different places within a Dynamics 365 portal implementation, including within the copy or summary section on a web page, within the custom JavaScript or CSS fields on web pages, entity lists, entity forms, and web forms, content snippets, and web templates. Liquid supports the control flow tags, such as if, unless, else if, else, as well as case statements, known in other languages as a switch statement. It also supports iteration tags, such as for, cycle, and table row. There are also portal-specific tags you can use to access Dynamics 365 data, including entities, user, entity list, entity form, chart, Power BI, and fetch XML. While Liquid is an incredibly powerful tool, it should be noted that Liquid can only be used to read data. There's no ability to create, update, or delete data using Liquid, which is why it's known as a templating language. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 20 from Engineered Code on an introduction to Liquid useful.